So look, I'm not the biggest advocate for you having social media that you share with a girl that you've just started dating. But given that the world we live in is chock full of a variety of social media options, I figured it would be a good idea to give you five do's and five don'ts of using social media when you are dating a new woman. That way you will not make the social media mistakes that could potentially cause her to lose interest. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first do is do keep the majority of your page private from her until she becomes the girlfriend. There is still something to be said in this day and age of having a little air of mystery about you and not completely giving away your entire story. And when you allow a woman to just come onto your page and see all the things you've posted ever by way of pictures and also comments, then that can cause her to start to lose some of the air of mystery that you had around you and therefore she could lose interest. So if you're going to have Portions of your page open, keep them limited to certain types of pictures, which we'll get into in a second, but don't leave your entire social media available for her to see. Now, here's a don't. Do not befriend any woman that you've just started dating on social media. She does not need to be invited into your entire world right now. And more to the point, let's say you go on a date with a girl after that first date, you give her your social media, you become friends with her on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, right? Well, chances are she's gonna go onto your page to do a little bit of creeping and she's gonna see pictures and comments, some of which she may not like, but that she has no context for in reference to why they are put up. Why are you with a certain person? Why is there a girl in a bikini that's next to you in one of these shots? Now, it might just be your cousin or a close friend, but she's not gonna know that, and because she has no guidance on that stuff, she's gonna be making her own judgments about what she sees on your page. The less stuff that she's able to see on your social media in the beginning, the less chance there is of her being able to do that, which also then, again, keeps an air of mystery about you that she can only figure out if she continues to date you. Another do, do have pictures up that show you in a positive light. If you are going to leave a few of your pictures available for anybody to just come across your page and see, make sure they are pictures that position you as the kind of guy that she needs to be around. These would be like shots of you doing various hobbies of yours, going on adventures, maybe you know doing a few cool dance moves or whatnot. Like make sure they are gonna be pictures that help you stand out. You need to treat your social media more like a page to market yourself than just to just be a social person. Because because really on the internet, all you're doing is marketing to other people the kind of person that you want them to see you as. And so if you're going to allow her to come on your page, she should be coming to see stuff that's gonna make her think, oh my God, I definitely wanna be a part of this guy's lifestyle versus, oh, that guy's a slob. Oh, that guy can't dress. Oh, that guy just sits at home all day and just does nothing. Oh, this is boring. Like position yourself in a way to be as good looking as possible to any girl that comes across your page. So that's a good tip. Don't have excessive pictures of yourself with other women. Now you might be thinking, but Harry, I thought that women like competition. Wouldn't her seeing me around other hot babes make her either jealous or make her want to vie for my attention? And the answer is no. Like the reality is like women like the idea that you potentially have other girls that are after you, but there's a difference between her thinking that and you just pushing in her face, oh, I have all these women, look at this page. And again, more to the point, she's gonna go to your page and she's not gonna know if a woman's your cousin, your mom, a potential lover or ex-lover, a girlfriend of yours that, that you're cheating on her with, or a girl that is an ex but is still somehow in the picture. Like again, you're not trying to make your presence to this girl confusing. And when you add a bunch of pictures on your social media with a bunch of other women, that causes confusion and it could cause a woman to say, you know what, he looks like the kind of guy that's not gonna be faithful or loyal and so I'm out of here, all right? So try to get as many pictures with other women off your page as you possibly can is my suggestion. Do check out her page to get a feel of what she's about and what she likes. The majority of women are gonna have their their social media just open to the public at large. And so, yes, it's a good idea to check out her social media because you wanna start getting intel about what kind of things is she into in part 
so you can start planning better dates. There are too many guys that just don't know how to plan dates with women and are always worried about, what do I, what is she like, what is she into? Well, that's a great way to figure that out because as the person that's planning these dates, the more intel you can get about her likes and dislikes without having to specifically ask her, then the better it's going to be. But also of note, you can figure out from her pictures what kind of girl she is, what she's into, what her family life's like, what her friendship life is like, and that's all really good stuff. Now, you might hear that and think, but but isn't that hypocritical? Like, how is it you're saying, you're telling us to go on her page to find out about her, but then you're telling us to like have limited stuff on our page. This is how relationships work, where women, part of their attraction process is not knowing all about you and there being an air of mystery, and that's good for them because they wanna be taken on a journey of discovery. But you need to be the person that has discovered and is therefore already planning to do things that are going to be pleasing to her by way of dates, by way of conversation, etc. So it's better for you to have more intel in part because you're the one leading this thing, not her. Do not, do not go on her page and watch her stories. Yes, go onto her various social medias and check out her pictures and stuff that she has posted in the areas where it's just designed to be post. But with stories, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on Facebook, Women can go into their profiles in the back end and they can actually see all the people that have watched their various stories. And for you, being a new guy in her life, it's going to feel like you're stalking her. Just, just bottom, bare bones, bottom, that, that's what it is. She's gonna look at like, oh, he, she'll have up like five stories. She'll look at like, oh, this guy that I just met liked my, uh, saw my story, that's so awesome. And he saw that story and that story and that story. And then the next day she gets up, she has five more stories. And today he's looking at that story and that story, and that story, and she may not ever contact you about it, she may not ever say a thing to you about it, but for new guys, that creeps women out. They're trying to think in their head, why is he already so obsessed with me that he's watching every single one of my stories? So, if you're gonna go on her page, of all the things you need to avoid, avoid her stories the most. I can tell you, cause I just recently started posting stuff up on my Facebook cause I, I went to my homecoming weekend this past weekend and I could see on every single one, all the people that were watching my stories. I'd never really done that before, you know, cause I don't really post like that. But yeah, after like the fifth or sixth one, you're like, oh, this same person is constantly seeing my stories. That's interesting. But again, for girls, when you're new stimuli, they don't want you all up in their business like that. At least they don't want to be conscious of it. Like, if you go to her page and just look at her pictures, she's not going to necessarily know. But you seeing her stories every single day, all the time, that's sending a message that maybe you're a little needy or desperate. And we're not trying to give that away, so avoid her stories at all costs. Do make sure that she is not posting thirst traps. When you're going on her page, you want to see like, how many bikini pictures is she putting up? How many like sexy time posts is she putting up? Or, you know, posts with, ha with, they have like wording that like, you know, hey, the water's all clear over here, come check me out. Like, you wanna see if she's that kind of person early on, because I can assure you, if she's doing that on Insta, on Snapchat, on TikTok or whatever, that that's what she's about. She's about getting attention, and she's about getting male attention specifically, and if you're not trying to date a woman that you gotta fight off a bunch of dudes, then you're gonna wanna try to steer clear of women that are posting these kind of thirst traps. Now you might think that's impossible. I have yet to date women, and I've dated really hot women, but when they're with me, they're like, I'm only trying to impress you. I'm only trying to get, you know, have my body shown for you. And so those women are a bit more modest when it comes to the things that they're posting on their pages. Now, if you're a guy that's like, but Harry, I don't mind showing my woman off to the world, I don't care. Hey, that's at your discretion. I'm just saying, I don't particularly like that, so I know if I'm seeing a woman and I see that her social media has a bunch of thirst traps, I already know the fights that could potentially happen with other dudes or the situation she'd get me into, and I don't want those. If you can deal with them, then hey, you do you. But I'm suggesting that if you see a woman that has a bunch of thirst traps, maybe steer clear. Don't be constantly posting every activity on your page. Because again, this goes back to the air of mystery. As you're dating a woman, we want her to wonder about you. We want her to ponder, what is he up to today? What is he getting into? Is he with other people, potentially other women? I don't know. And you posting up nonstop on your social media, it takes a little bit of that mystery away, which also takes away a level of the chase. And we want her to be chasing you because if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. But part of her being motivated to chase you is not always being aware of what's going on in your day-to-day -day life. Now you might think that's unfair or that's like playing games or whatever. A woman has the right to know more about your life once she's the girlfriend 
But until she's the girlfriend, what's going to build up her attraction faster is not knowing that stuff and wanting to be privy to that stuff which is gonna make her seek it out. She's gonna be coming towards you to try to ask you, hey, so what were you doing today? Hey, what were you up to? Oh, where'd you hang? Oh, I wish I could have gone, oh my God. Like, she needs that part of the journey to build more attraction to you. Do be mindful of language and tone. Obviously, there are women out there that some of them just don't care if you curse up a storm or say whatever you want on your, on your page, it is what it is. I've just found though, A, that I'm not trying to put forth anything in a comment section or on my page that could be, again, taken in the wrong light. Because I could say a humorous joke that I think is funny, that to her is like the most devastating thing ever, and it'll be taken that way when she reads it because there's no inflection, there's no vocal tone, there's no context that can make her think, oh, this is a joke, or oh, he said this comment, but he had reasons behind him putting this comment forth, right? So I just typically am like, I try to keep my social media in terms of what I'm saying on there or what I'm typing, as bland as humanly possible. For one, I'm not posting a whole lot in the first place, but if I am saying things here or there, I'm not posting things that are overly controversial because I wanna save anything like that for in person where I can give context, I can give tone, and I can give better explanation. So that's just a word to the wise out there. Try to be mindful of what you're actually saying on these social media platforms. And lastly, don't spend days on end liking and commenting on her posts. Yes, there are stories out there of guys that went on a girl's Insta page and started liking her stuff and commenting and they got together. But those are anomalies and those are exceptions, not the rule. At large, again, I stress, you being new stimuli and just going from like, you, you, she's never heard of you a day in her life to now you're on her page just liking all the stuff. I've had times where I've posted stuff on Instagram and a new person will join my page and then I'll like 12 posts in a row. And that crap creeps me out every single time. And I'm a dude. So now imagine you got a girl that maybe you guys went on a date and she gave you her Insta and now next thing she knows, she goes home and you've liked 14 of her posts and you've commented under each one of them. That is obsessive behavior. That is behavior that looks like, oh, this guy's really vying for my attention because he's just so desperate. And again, we're not trying to give off the impression that you are a desperate guy. I don't think you are, but she's not gonna get that feeling when you're trying to comment on all of her stuff right away. So I say the less commenting you can do and the less liking you do on her post, the better odds are gonna be that she's not gonna see you in a negative light and she's gonna stick around a lot longer. So hopefully these various do's and don'ts have helped you figure out what you should be doing on social media if you're going to share it with her at all in the, in the early stages. Because again, I'm all for really like waiting until she's the girlfriend to even befriend her on social media. But if you're not gonna do that and you wanna you know, have her be friends with you early on or whatever, just follow the various things that I talked about in this post and you should be able to navigate the social media storm with these new women and not completely chase them off. So hopefully this helps you out. If you like this video, be sure to give this a like, subscribe to this channel, and also, if you really wanna get a leg up on the competition and know the ins and outs of how to attract women, how to get them on dates, and how to land in relationships with them, then go to harrywilmington.com and check out my Get Girls Academy. This is where all of my best programs are housed that are gonna give you the direction you need to succeed with women. So check that out at harrywilmington.com. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out, peace. <laughs>